Hi there. So I've been building this website using Divi 3.0 and this has been a continuing series as I do each step. I've been recording it and doing tutorials on it. So I think it's time we actually added a child theme. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now instead of building my own child theme, I'm going to go ahead and just use a plugin for this. So we're going to go ahead and go to our dashboard. We'll go to plugins. We'll add new. Now the child theme I use is called child theme configurator and we can see it right here so I want to go ahead and install now now I use child theme configurator because I found it works well with Divi I've used other ones that I noticed there were some uh, problems with it this one has seemed to work well for me so I've stuck with it so let's go ahead and activate it so we can see it we have it here now so let's go over here to tools down here to child theme so we want to go ahead and create a new child theme so we're going to click on analyze we're going to give it a name. We're just going to keep it as Divi Child. You can name it whatever you want. We're going to primary style sheet. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. So we're pretty much going to keep all of these defaults and we're going to click on create new child theme. So everything looks good. So we're going to come up here to files. So as you can see, it's already added the functions.php file. Now in the past, we would also usually include the footer. And if you're going to do some stuff with your social icons or if you're going to customize your header, you would also add those files. But for now, we're just going to leave it as functions PHP. Now, the reason you want to have a child theme is because as Divi updates, it will overwrite its file. So if you've actually customized the footer within the Divi folder, the next time they do an update it will write over those customizations so you will want to have a child theme for that purpose and usually you're going to actually add functions to your child theme or custom css so what i want to do now is upload a new screenshot and so what i've done is i've captured just captured my page using the alt print screen in windows and then i've pasted it into photoshop and you can see here it's going to be 880 picks times 660 picks so what I'll do is go ahead and choose file and upload that so as you can see I have the child theme screenshot right here so we're gonna go ahead and open that and then we'll click upload alright so all that looks pretty good so what we now want to do is go ahead and activate our child theme so we're gonna go up to parent themes and you can see it right here now this is why we added the screenshot so it's easy to recognize so we're going to go ahead and activate it all right we're going to come over here and make sure it's working okay it looks to be fine if you watched some of the earlier videos you saw that we added some customization to the theme options so i'm going to go ahead and take a look at that as you can see we have this customization here so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to select it all and cut it save the changes I'm gonna come up here now to appearance and editor I'm in my child theme I've got my style CSS selected so let me show you real quick if I refresh this screen one of the things we added was the gradient and the other thing we added was centering the um, footer there so let's go ahead now and re-add that to the style sheet, update it. I come up here and refresh. You'll see the gradient is back, as is the centering. Okay, well that's a quick way to add a child theme to Divi. If you like the video, please choose like and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out the other videos in my description. Great, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.